Welcome to Lamas Coven Oven, where we'll be making one of these. A corn dolly. You'll need four pieces of corn, of wheat, that you've soaked for 30 minutes or so. And then you're going to need some scissors and some thread. Start by getting your four pieces of wheat together and tying them just under the head. nice and tight <clears throat> and cut off the excess so it's nice and neat all right and then this is one I made earlier and we're looking for this nice weave pattern so it's a little bit more complicated than a plait but it looks really nice <clears throat> okay so you start you kind of can think of it like a compass so you've got your north strand, you fold them down, you've got your east strand, you've got your south strand and your west strand. And the pattern you want to do is the top one to the bottom or north to south and then south to north and then east to west and west to east. And then you come back to the top, north to south, south to north east to west and west to east and if you can remember that pattern it's just doing that for a long time and to make sure you're getting it right i guess one thing you want to avoid is when you come north to south you want to make sure that you're on the right side of the one at the bottom and that would rather than like that that just keep it a bit neater and a bit more square And you can do it quite quickly, but the, if you take your time, you can get it really nice and neat. So you're pulling them quite tight, making the corners quite neat with each fold. You are looking to be able for it to be long enough to make a nice little loop. So I wrap that round. It's not quite there yet, is it? So I'm going to keep going. <laughs> okay. So I'm looking at that, and I think that is probably about long enough. So I get another piece of thread. and gather the ends and pull them quite tight at the very close to the bottom of your plait not you don't want to tie them down there because it will unravel but nice and tight there and tie your thread around knot it nice and tight <laughs> I've got a new bit. Okay. And then got a if you've got a nice little bit of ribbon, you can loop it round and you're tying basically the two bits where you've tied thread tying them together. Nice and tight. You can do a bow if you're feeling fancy. Okay. 
and then it's nice to trim these so that they're all the, the excess the stalks so they're all the same length and maybe maybe you want to get them roughly the same length as the heads of corn as well and trim off any excess thread that could be coming out and what I like to do is to get the get them in a pattern so you can kind of manipulate the the stalks to fit in between so they're alternating between the heads like that and kind of just give it a nice big nice good press so it kind of stays like that um, so when you hang it up it's in this Oops. nice little pattern and you can hang other bits of ribbon or decorate it in whichever way you like friends There you go, that's it.